Sage Reynolds here with a walkthrough for Fireside, one of my sample packs that was released on December 23rd, 2022, as part of Piano Book's advent calendar. 2022 was a banner year for me for sampling, starting at the end of 2021 with an award for Piano Book Samplist of the Year, which I was very much honored to receive. Two other big honors were bestowed upon me in the first half of 2022, being named Piano Book Featured Samplist for the month of February 2022, and then having one of my most successful sample packs, Harmonic Flights, released as a Spitfire Labs instrument in May 2022. Throughout the year, I released four other sample packs and collaborated on Owen Bollig's excellent Portals sample pack. Fireside is my fifth and final sample pack for 2022 and builds off work I've done on my other sample packs, especially Tritambro Flocks. It also hints at sampling directions that I'll be taking in 2023. I've put links to my sample packs below as well as links to Fireside's Piano Book Advent Calendar video and a demo I composed for the sample pack. Now let's dive into the walkthrough. Let's start with the Contact 6.7.1 version of the sample pack. First impressions, there's a classic expression or volume fader to the right, as well as a blend fader, which I'll talk about later. There's a button marked the fire, which starts a noise loop of the fire that was burning in a wood stove at a friend's forest home last winter. Let's try this out. Some nice warm noise going on there. The artwork is a processed image of the same wood fire. And you saw a short video of that fire at the beginning of the video. The whole color scheme for the GUI comes from this image and I attempted to continue this vibe in the keyboard colors that mark different sounding ranges of the instrument. Right here, this orange in the center is the natural range of the ukulele, which you'll see in a minute. Outside of this range for the ukulele, for example, there's pitch shifting and processing that's done. Right here, we have the settings button that hides the GUI artwork to reveal the more detailed controls of the sample pack. Within the settings sections, we have group one, which consists of plucked ukulele swarms performed in octaves and pitch shifted above and below the natural range of the instrument. Group two is a pad group created by processing a recording of a metal fire iron being dragged across a rough wooden studio floor. Group three called granular embers is a textural ambient resample group that takes the combined signal from the first two groups and passes it through granular processing and other effects. It's actually my favorite sound in the sample pack. Group four is the fire, which I mentioned earlier with its on off button. It's important to note that for both versions of Fireside, if you want the noise loop of the fire to be included in your DAW session, you have to input or draw a C-2, which is MIDI note 0, into your timeline. Each of the main groups has a volume fader, and they can be played at the same time or muted using these buttons. Right now all three are muted. I'm going to select just groups 2 and 3. Here's groups one and three. And groups one and two. Fireside has several other controls and effects, including a blend function for all three main groups, which is mapped to the mod wheel, CC1. 
This gradually crossfades or blends first the fire iron group and then the granular embers group into the uke swarms group, adding performance options for the sounds. Let's check this out. So with the mod wheel all the way down, just have the uke swarms. And as I gradually raise up the mod wheel, the blend function, and bring in group two, fire iron. As I keep on going, you're gonna hear granular embers. Unless you never touch the mod wheel, make sure that the mod wheel or CC1 controller is all the way up or open for all groups to sound at full volume. Also note that going above the initial volume levels on an individual group slider can cause clipping, especially at high velocity levels and with high voice counts. That being said, I mixed this instrument with all three groups active. So individual groups may be too quiet and can be turned up. I'd also like to warn you that this sample pack uses lots of CPU, so be careful with that. Other features that are present in some of my other sample packs include global sample offset, mark start, with its control slider to start the sample up to two seconds in, global ADSR control sliders, global low pass filter, or LPF cutoff control, global high pass filter, HPF cutoff control, global low cut EQ bypass button. And you can actually tweak this EQ under the hood. It's marked SGEQ. Global plate reverb and room reverb controls. The settings for these reverbs can also be tweaked under the hood. Each of the four groups has an individual LPF and HPF control. The LPF of groups two through four are mapped to CC21. Either of the filters for the fire can be used to control the noise volume or to shape or EQ the sound. You can also control the overall balance with the main volume control and each of the other three groups volume sliders. Now on to the decent sampler version of Fireside, which uses version 1.7.3. It has a lot of the same features as the contact version. And even though it's missing a few, I often find the sound more present in DS versions of my instruments. The DS version includes individual group volume controls for uke swarms, fire iron, and granular embers. Again, these groups can be played at the same time or muted using the volume controls. Like the contact version, the fire iron and granular embers groups can be gradually crossfaded or blended into the uke swarms group by using the blend control, which is mapped to the mod wheel, CC1. A feature that is not included in the contact version is an individual group volume control for the fire. This is also a way of muting it if you like by turning the volume down to zero. To play the fire, you can play C minus two on the keyboard like this. Or you can input or draw a C minus two into your session like I explained before. The DS version also has a global expression or volume control mapped to CC11, a global attack control, global release control, global low pass filter, LPF cutoff control mapped to CC21, and a global reverb control. As for production for the sample pack, the ukulele recordings were captured using a close mic, which was a large diaphragm condenser mic, and a matched pair of stereo room mics, which are small diaphragm condenser mics. The fire iron recordings were captured using a Zoom H2N portable stereo recorder, and the recording of the fire was captured with an iPhone. All recordings were cleaned up, denoised, and mixed. Some of the recordings were tuned, and several of the recordings were pitch shifted for the high or low samples. There are various amounts of processing or effects on the different groups, especially granular embers. <laughs> Thank you.
there you have it. I hope Fireside inspires you as much as it does me. And I wish you all a very creative 2023. Special thanks to the Piano Book team for all their hard work. And a huge thanks to the whole Piano Book community with whom I am honored to be a part of. I have another video coming out shortly from my YouTube series, In the Yard, Music and Sound with Sage Reynolds. Link to the first episode up here. I'll have some other content coming your way soon too. So please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and selecting the notification bell. Please also consider giving this video a like and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions. Happy holidays. Thank you.